Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid was introduced in 2009 as a 2010 model and it still to this day represents the only Prius model that you can drive for more than a handful of miles on electric only power. Outside it shares the same body as a conventional hybrid but with an additional charging door located on the upper right quarter panel and a brushed silver trim panel just below the rear window that replaces the conventional body color panel you'll find on other Priuses. Like the regular Prius, the plug-in hybrid, it's equipped with a 98 horsepower 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine as well as a 60 kilowatt motor generator for a total of 134 system horsepower. The plug-in is graded by the EPA at 95 MPGE, that is when it's running on electric power, as well as 50 MPG in gasoline only mode. My own observed fuel economy was 99 MPG in electric mode, which means that pretty much you're not using any gas at all, as well as anywhere between 42 and 58 MPG in gasoline only mode, depending upon the kind of driving I was doing. But here's the issue with the plug-in hybrid. Even after a full charge, which normally takes less than three hours, even from a normal household outlet, the Prius only showed 13.3 miles worth of all-electric driving stored in the battery. And that, quite frankly, was a little bit optimistic. My six-mile commute to work drained 7.7 .7 miles of that electric storage out of the battery. So, quite frankly, you've got a vehicle with 123 extra pounds, a larger battery and the ability to drive in all electric mode but for most people even someone with a short commute like myself you really can't drive the whole thing in electric mode unless you can charge it up at work which for most of us isn't really an option inside the Prius has been criticized by some reviewers as looking a little bit too plasticky but in this case, I don't think that's really true. If you take a real close look at it, the body panels here on the dashboard are really nicely grained and they look of very high quality. The instruments themselves are clear and very easy to read. You have a central panel up here with various information on it, including fuel as well as miles per gallon. You have a heads up display here, which makes it really, really easy to see the speed that you're going so that you don't even have to take your eyes off the road. Down here, the infotainment system has a touch screen, but you also have a number of buttons here on the side as backup. So it's really easy to use, really intuitive. There's also ample head, shoulder, and leg room for the two front passengers, as well as three adult passengers in the back seat, something not normally found on a vehicle this size. The rear seats, that have a center armrest that folds down with two cup holders, also splits and folds flat for additional hauling capacity. Cargo volume, although limited by the battery pack, is still a very useful 21.6 cubic feet. And surprisingly, there's no difference between this model and the model with the smaller battery pack. Let's face it, Prius buyers really aren't looking for a sporty handling vehicle. And the plug-in, well, it's no exception. Acceleration is acceptable, but that's really just about it. Steering is really responsive, but unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of feedback through the steering wheel to the driver. Its additional weight, however, makes passing, as well as merging into traffic, just a little bit more difficult than the standard model. Pricing for the 2014 Prius plug-in starts at $31,195 for the base model, but it can top out at over $40,000 for a fully accessorized advanced model with a technology package. Our Seaglass Pearl Advanced Technology Tester landed close to the top of that price range with an MSRP of $38,907. So what does all this mean? Well, if you have a short commute and don't mind spending five more large for a single advantage, be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you save that extra cash and opt for the less expensive conventional Prius hybrid that offers better handling, performance, and driving range, as well as better overall real-world gasoline fuel economy. Click subscribe to stay up to date on our newest vehicle reviews. And to see more about the vehicle featured in this review, 
head over to the official LotPro blog.